Hey guys, Ivan here, and this is just another Sean Rodin update. So you can see here that Sean Rodin is training very hard. He's preparing himself for the Mr. Olympia and he's not screwing around. He's training with Charles Glass now. He's not training with Psycho Fitness Lewis, which may be a mistake. I don't know, it seemed like he was training harder before, but he's definitely not messing around. He's definitely training hard, training to win, I would say. And I'm watching these videos of Charles Glass helping him and I don't understand why is he helping him every single rep? What is the point of that? And Charles is helping him so mindlessly. I mean, he's the top trainer in the world and he is basically looking around the gym. He doesn't even pay attention to him as much. He's thinking about something else. Who knows what Charles is thinking about right now? I'm sure he's not thinking about Sean Rodin and his workout. He does this like he's a factory worker, like he works on a, on a moving track. That's how he does this job, <laughs> I would say. He doesn't even care about how much is he helping this Sean. It looks like he's just pushing the weight and he doesn't hear what Sean is feeling or not feeling. It looks like he just needs to get that weight from point A to point B, no matter how. Of course, I'm just joking, guys. Charles is one of the best coaches in the world for a reason. But maybe he just got bored of his job because he's been doing it for a very long time and he's an old man now. Wouldn't it be easier for both of them if he just helped him for the last couple of reps, maybe like six reps by himself and the rest with aid? Not only that he is torturing the old man, but he is also having somebody breathing on his neck the whole time, the whole set. I don't know how can you train hard like this. I mean, somebody is pushing your back from behind and somebody is helping you, assisting you with every single rep since the very start. Sometimes somebody is helping him and he's doing rows. Like bent over rows. And I think I saw Chris Lewis basically hugging him from behind and helping him row that bar. It just looks odd. I mean, do you really need all that much help? Couldn't he just do six reps by himself with a little bit lighter weight and then, you know, get some assistance after that sixth rep? It's basically the same. It really doesn't make any sense. You're only troubling these people to help you and that's about it. I mean, it doesn't really make any difference, but I don't know. Whatever he is doing, it's working. It's working. He is the Mr. Olympia. He is the best bodybuilder in the world right now. So I guess he should just keep working what he's doing because it's getting the job done. It's getting the job done. I'm not making videos about him because he is not a good bodybuilder. I'm making a video about him because he is the top bodybuilder, the best bodybuilder in the world right now, at least in 2018. I mean, he climbed up that ladder very successfully because he knows what he's doing. Maybe this doesn't really make a lot of sense, but for whatever reason, it's working. Would he be a better bodybuilder if he did some things differently? Maybe, maybe not. Anyways, he couldn't get better than this. He cannot get better than first place in the world. You can become more impressive, but if what he worked before got him a Sando, which is the ultimate bodybuilding award, why would he change anything now? Of course, he should just keep doing his thing. And yeah, his form is arguable. Definitely his range of motion. And the proper execution is not exactly by the textbook. I'm sure Ben Pakulski and many other training experts would have a couple of arguments about this approach because maybe he could optimize his performance to get a little bit better, but it is getting the job done. It is getting the job done. And uh, all we can do is just talk about it. Say our opinions. And that's what I'm doing right now. Whatever you guys think, tell me in the comment section below. Anyways, Sean is training hard. You can see the intensity basically in his workouts. So I think he is training to win again this year. I think he's very confident that he can actually do it. And uh, based on all we saw so far, I think the likelihood of him actually taking this title again is very high. So guys, please like the video, if you enjoyed it, I mean. And if you want to see more content like this, subscribe. All the best. Bye bye.